So two artists got into a fight, and yes, it ended in a draw. Get it? Artists draw for a living? No? Ugh, tough crowd. Perfect! Hello there broskies, Urk the Turk Hassan back here again with one of the best drops of the year. It is of course the Nike Air Max 1 Crep Hemp. Now this review is way later than I wanted it to be, but there was so much going on over here in the UK. Of course, Her Majesty the Queen did pass away and it's so sad to see, but God rest her soul, a lot of things were on standstill. So my deliveries did get delayed, but it is what it is. They're here now and I'm glad they are because this is an absolute banger. Now retro for the first time since 2004, the Nike Crep Hemp actually released as a pack. Other than this silhouette, we had the Air Max 90 and the Air Max Burst as well. And I can't lie, this was the best one out of the pack. Now, I wasn't collecting back then, so I don't have anything to compare it to, but this one, there are some slight differences. I am indeed comparing to pictures that I've seen online, so take that with a pinch of salt. Now, before we touch on the differences and comparisons and that sort of thing, we'll just start off with the box. I was a bit annoyed by this, considering it is a retro and all, I kind of thought they would give us something better. But yes, it does come in your red standard Nike box. On the product sticker itself though, it does say Nike Air Max 1 Premium, and its official colorway is medium brown and mint foam. I kind of thought they were going to give us what they did with the Bacons and the Air Max 90s just because this sneaker has sort of like a similar feel. Technically it's not your standard GR sneaker by Nike, it's actually a retro. And there were a lot of people having this as one of their grails. And having these in hand, finally I can actually see where they're coming from. Now in terms of the sizing with this shoe, it was a bit tricky for me because I could only get my hands on a UK 8.5. And my normal true to size in the Air Max 1s is a UK 9. But I did manage to pick up my pair at a later date. I'm just waiting for them to come in. But as of right now, these are at eight and a half. It's a bit of a pickle because they are tight, but I do like how they feel. But I know if I wear them out and my feet expand and that sort of thing, my feet are going to feel it. So I do say that to say, go true to size with this pair. Now we are going to touch on what these are actually made of and what makes this different from a normal GR pair and also make some comparisons with the old. There are some differences with this and the OG pair, but at the same time, Nike do claim it's kept its DNA. Now retailing at £165 here in the UK, you better believe Nike gave us something for that price. Now I was defo moaning about the price before I got these in hand, but now they're here, I can kind of see where they're coming from. The materials and the price do sort of go hand in hand. I mean, we've got the suede on the mud guards, for example, and it's not that two-tone suede, but at the same time, it does look very durable. It's got that rough texture and that's kind of what you need more so from a mud guard. But one of the reasons why these are actually dubbed the crep hemp is the toe box. We've got that woven hemp canvas on the toe box and then on the underlays too. And this was one of the panels that they actually changed compared to the OG just because that weren't as durable. Now a lot of people I guess that didn't cut their toenails had problems with the toe box. I think it was poking through. So the material stretched too much and then there were holes in them apparently. Now we do have normal canvas here near the toe box just underneath where the laces sit and you can kind of miss it if you don't look up close. Now of course we've got the new buck on the mid panels on the medial and lateral side that looks so nice. Now another premium feel is the Nike swooshes on both sides of the shoe. It comes in that tumbled leather and it is in this mint colorway. Now we've got that hemp canvas material to the tongue again and these do only come with one set of laces but these laces do have that premium feel. It's got that soft cotton feel to it but these will be a nightmare to keep clean. Now the tongue tab is what they did change as well compared to the OG. This pair of course has that mint colorway but the OG had that sort of brown. I can't lie, the OG does look a little bit better, but I'm not too mad at these. Now we've got that cotton on the sock liner again in that sort of creamy colorway, which is pretty much the same as the insole with that mint Nike Air branding at the back of it. Now the Nike Air does return here and we did change it a little bit with, I think it was the tree lines and the matter roots, where they said Nike Air Max, but this one does say Nike Air. Now this was one of the things they actually changed again from the OGs. It was a different color, but this one is just as good. Now this cell mid sole does go so well with the shoe i'm glad they didn't go with a white one but to the air unit we do have that mint colorway too and that's another subtle change they did from the ogs 
Now this outsole is one you don't really see every day with an Air Max 1 and it is of course the crepe outsole. Now look, it's just one of those things you either like or you don't and I really do like these. Now I like the texture and I like the look. I know you can't compare it to the OG Air Max 1 in terms of that waffle outsole and that sort of thing, but that's what makes this sneaker a unique Air Max 1. We've had this outsole on quite a few Air Max 1s now, like the Dark Obsidians, the Wheat Colorway 2, I think back in 2018. And even before that, in 2010, we had this black pair and then a cell pair too. But each and every time they've used this crepe outsole on an Air Max 1, they've always been memorable. And for me, in a good way. I don't know if I missed out anything comparing it to the OGs in 2004, but comment down below if I did. But most importantly, now's the time to decide whether these are a buy or a buy. Now it's pretty much a given. I know the price is pretty hefty, especially for the times that we're living in right now. But for the materials that they've given, the colorway in itself, and of course this being a retro, just like if you're on that diet, looking at that Kit Kat, it's hard to say no. And in my opinion, this is defo up there in terms of iconic colorways to the Air Max 1. But overall, I cannot complain about this sneaker at all. I mean, the outsole, it is what it is. You either like it or you don't. And I know some people unfortunately had some QC issues, but hopefully they were very minimal because we've all been there with Nike's QC one way or another. And yes, it's heartbreaking, especially from a sneaker you've been waiting so long for. So my final verdict, this Air Max 1 Crep Hemp is an absolute, and I mean an absolute buy. But broskies, comment down below what you think about this Air Max 1. Is it one of the best colorways to release or is this an absolute miss? Leave it all down below and I will pin the best comments. Anyways broskies, thank you for watching, thank you for stopping by, I've got some other recording to do, so without further ado, hit me up on Instagram as well and whilst you're here, don't forget to like subscribe, comment, and share. And I'm out. Take care.